Sorry for the later than usual video, uh, usually when signings happen and that I, I sort of cover them around the American night time, but obviously it would be the morning waking up. I had like physio and all sorts to go do today, so I had a lot of appointments. Um, so yeah, so now I've got the time now, so let's run through all the signings. All right, let's jump straight in. So Chris Tierney um, signs a two year at 3.5 mil per with the Ottawa Senators. I won't go into too much depth with this just because there's a video coming out very shortly, um, sort of celebrating the 10,000 day since the uh, last Canadian team to win a Stanley Cup, so we're going to assess if any of the Canadian teams can do a Stanley Cup and kind of recap all the teams, so that should be out roughly a few hours after this video, so um, just putting the finishing touches on that one, so yeah, so I won't touch too much on Ottawa as a whole, but yeah, it's not a bad signing, I'll run through the reasons in the other video, but yeah, he's a veteran with the team, they've got cap space, perennial 50 to 40 point scorer, I think a great fit for the franchise. It's not three or four years, which would start to be a problem. Then you start getting to the issues that Vancouver currently has. Uh, but yeah, Devon Tays, uh, yeah, puts up a four times four point one million dollar contract uh, with the Colorado Avalanche. Oh boy, do they start to look good? Do they start to look a bit tasty with this uh, with this defense um, now? Um, it's a really good ad and a player that did very well in the playoffs and a big part of that shutdown play. And I think he'll add uh, add that to the Colorado Avalanche. But yeah, the Islanders had to trade away uh, the rights for to go to arbitration and all those sort of things. And uh, yeah, boy, two two second round picks, which isn't a bad price for him, but like they're kind of not in the in the space right now to be getting rid of players like this that only have upside. He's uh, pretty young still. Uh, 26, still has room to grow, is really becoming a good veteran in this league, um, or starting to get there, and I, I think 100% you, you win cups with players like this, so for someone like the Islanders to just walk away uh, is brutal. I think this is a great deal for the Avs. I think he adds something that this team didn't have uh, before, and uh, yeah, they, they haven't hit panic, the Avalanche. They, they realized there was a, some freak injuries and a lot going on. Um, even though McKinnon was like fully carrying that team, but that's what you know, happens when you have a complete superstar. Um, but they're really starting to build some solid defensive pieces around him. Uh, and uh, yeah, this is a great deal for the franchise. And uh, oh boy, oh boy, I really like, can't wait to see them in uh, next season. I, I, I really think they're going to do very well. Uh, LaPierre for the Capitals. You may remember him from the draft. He fell quite a bit because he had neck and concussion issues and no doctor could kind of verify that his neck still wasn't a problem. Uh, in the four QMJHL games that was played until they kind of went into like red or orange zones. I don't know. Every country has a different way of being like stage three, orange zone. Like it's all these zones and colors and everything. So it's really hard for me to keep track of. Uh, but pretty much they weren't playing games. They're going to start up again this weekend. At least his team is. Um, so that's uh, so that's exciting to see what he does. But in the four games he played, he got eight points. So he's looking pretty good. Um, you'd want to see a bit of longevity there, but obviously the Caps were pretty happy to see what they're there, so they've signed the entry-level deal, and uh, that might be the steal of the draft, that one, because he just kept falling and kept falling, and the Caps went, yeah, we'll take a chance, we'll take a punt, and this could uh, really start, because obviously, you know, the, the Ovi's getting older, and a few of the other players are getting older now, and, and this will really start the next generation of, of the cap. Tyler Bertuzzi, uh, through arbitration, uh, got $3.5 million a year for obviously one year, um, puts him at 25, so next, so he's still an RFA, technically. Not to be confused with Todd Bertuzzi, who punched Steve Moore in the back of the head. <laughs> it's still crazy that that happened, but anyway, um... Yeah, like it's yeah, it's a it, it, it never works out well when the two have to go to arbitration and they kick that can down and be like, oh, we'll deal with this in a year. Yeah, it's ne not really going to work out well, I don't think. Uh, Batuzzi had a pretty good year on a struggling uh, Red Wings team. He doesn't really get a huge amount of support. Uh, he's pretty much got 50 points for the last two seasons. I think he's a pretty good player there. Um, just needs to yeah, if he could get to 60, I think he would get the contract that he probably is really looking for. But uh, yeah, they're playing really hard ball with him. I'd be curious to see what he wanted and, and what the gap was. But I mean, you know, they've got cap space. It's fine. Like they could have overpaid him for two years or three years. But then I guess you lose a bit of um, a bit of traction when you go to uh, negotiate down the road and you try to convince them that they're not worth what they were on. So I, I, I do understand. And Hayden Flory uh, signs with the Col uh, Carolina Hurricanes uh, two years at 1.3 mil per. Uh, boy, how it is this team stack. Do you know that the Carolina Hurricanes had the AHL best defenseman and, the, and he can't crack the lineup? He just can't crack this defensive lineup. 
Uh, yeah, I think they just need to work out goaltending. This team just needs to work out goaltending, and they'll be fine. But this is a good little contract. Uh, a player that went seventh overall hasn't really jumped his game up to you know that high a level yet. Um, I don't think he probably will, but he's still a good player. Um, so yeah, so uh, it's going to be interesting to see where he ends up being at. Sorry if there's thunder, you're hearing the thunder and lightning, got a bit of a storm brewing through. Um, so yeah, but. Yeah, like he scored a couple of goals in the playoffs, can be a little bit handy, but plays the game pretty well. Um, I think he fits the Carolina Hurricanes defensive model pretty well too, um, for what they already have. Anyway guys, that is the whole video. I'm not really going to go into like, you know, Harkins and uh, Hosang um, signing just because, yeah. Um, but yeah, that, that's the whole video. If you did like this video, hit the like button. Otherwise, hit subscribe down below. Again, there's a video coming out very shortly um, in regards to how I think all the Canadian teams are going to do. Uh, and then probably tomorrow will be another video that I've been teasing, which is which playoff drought team will end their drought this year. So any team that's gone two or more years without going into the playoffs, we'll break them all down and, you know, we'll see, we'll, we'll come to a conclusion on who's going to make it and who's not. Um, yeah, I, I just wanted a quick blurb out to everyone that, um, uh, watched and are very new to this channel from the video I made yesterday in regards to that yeah just absolute POS kid that bullied that that poor poor um poor kid um while he was just trying to go to school and stuff um yeah like a lot of your comments were very civil and uh, I really do appreciate that obviously things can go off the wire there so I do appreciate it um the mother released a letter um which you can go see at the link below too so if you made it this far the the letter will be there so you can go see it i just didn't want to i didn't want to cover every aspect of it because then it seems like I, i'm kind of um having a positive effect from such a shitty shitty event and i don't want that so yeah so if you do want that it's there but i'm sure you would have found it but yeah oh boy it's it's just still it's really hard i remember trying to tell my girlfriend about it and uh, she was like that is just despicable and i was like yeah it's pretty bad pretty bad uh, anyway, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. See you, and bye.